Of course, the mood in Yenagua was subdued on Wednesday following the judgment of the Supreme Court that nullified the election of Bias as a governor elect David Leon just hours before he swearing in. Citizens who hoped to welcome a new governor from the All Progressives Congress now have to reset their expectations while members of the People's Democratic Party are celebrating on a low key. Correspondent Kendi Amodu, who was purposely in Yenagua for the swearing in of David Leon, captures how the story changed in the twinkling of an eye. There was supposed to be a change of government on Friday and with it a change of party in government. But this was not to be. The Supreme Court judgment put pay to death. So now, though there's going to be a change of government, the same party, the PDP, will remain in government in Bayelsa State. As you can see around me, people are going around their normal businesses. There is subdued celebration from the few, but it looks as if the generality of the people of Bayelsa are not happy with the Supreme Court judgment. Uh, what the, 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 way, the way people my body, me itself, up to now, say, even the news, I never accept that. For now, even the press as me, I they talk, I never accept that kind of news, say, it's possible. Because if that man enter, I don't know the level where we go there for Bayelsa State here, as it is. Because we will need, change, uh, let me say, the next level for this bias as we do now. Let the will of God be done. I think me, I know, because today, no, give us breaking news in our PDP. Tomorrow, breaking news in our APC. So from now, the system tomorrow, we go here on our own. I feel very bad, because we don't expect that kind of thing. They're very bad. So to that tomorrow, maybe we'll see how far. We are only asking the former president, good luck, Jonathan. He is the father of the states. We want him to intervene in this matter because as it stands so now, the states were asking for peace. But what is going on now, nobody is happy in the states. It took some time for supporters of the People's Democratic Party to eventually mobilize to the streets to celebrate. And their decision to celebrate cautiously may be right. Permutations are beginning to indicate that the PDP candidate may not be qualified to be sworn in as governor. All eyes are now on the Independent National Electoral Commission to make a definitive pronouncement to clear the air. Going forward, it remains for the new government to the endear the people back to it so that they can once more believe in government. From Yenegua, Kenya Modu, STV News.